Hello everyone, my name is Zeno and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be demonstrating on how to set up SMB for your TV Mate application and by enabling SMB, you'll be able to save and watch your DVR recordings externally on a hard disk drive within your network on a Windows PC. This will allow you to watch DVR and save and restore backups of your TV Mate application wirelessly. As you might have noticed, saving DVR recordings on a Fire Stick or Google TV Chromecast is very limited because of the small amount of memory available. And by following this tutorial, you'll solve that problem. And before we get started, I want to let you know that I've recently created a Facebook community for us to share tips and tricks for this and other relevant applications. If you would like to join, I will leave the Facebook group link in the description. So let's not waste any more time and let's dive in right away. So let's start on our Windows device. For this demonstration, I am using a Windows 10 device, but it works exactly the same on Windows 11. Let's open up a file explorer and open up this PC. Here you'll have all the disks available for you to choose a location. I'm going to choose the C drive and in here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on new folder. We're creating a new folder. We're going to call it Windows 10 SMB. That's what the name of the folder is going to be. And you can name it whatever you want. DVR, TV Mate, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Right click on it and click on properties. In here, you'll see a few tabs. You want to make sure to click on sharing. In sharing, click on share. And here you'll have an arrow pointing down. Click on everyone and hit add. Make sure to change read to read write. Hit share and click done. Now you can close this up. And now we're going to go to our Windows settings. It's going to be the settings gear right here. Here you want to enter network and internet and you want to click on properties. So my network profile is currently private. For you, most likely, if you have never set it up good, it will be on public. It makes more sense to put it on private network since you're at home. Uh, so that's the first thing you want to do. Then you want to click back and you want to click on change advanced sharing options. In here, you want to make sure to turn on network discovery. So if it's turned off, go ahead and turn it on and turn on file and printer sharing. These two you want to turn on. If you decide to stay on the public network, go ahead and turn it on for network discovery. It's exactly the same and also for file and printer sharing. That being said, that is done. We have currently turned on network sharing. Make sure to save changes and that's also done. Now we're going to open up command prompt, go to the search bar, type in CMD and it's going to pop up command prompt and you just hit enter. And in here, you're going to type in IP convict exactly like how I'm spelling it and hit enter. You'll get a few datas right here written. You want to scroll up until you see IP address, write down the address behind that. It's going to be a few numbers that you're going to write down because we're going to need it now. Let's hop over to our Fire Stick or Android TV device. So in our Fire Stick, we're going to go ahead and enter the settings of TV Mate. We're going to scroll down to other and we're going to click on recording. In here, you want to click on recordings folder, select folder, and you want to select setup SMB. And you want to enter the server address. This is where we type in the address we just wrote down. It's going to be very similar to what you're seeing right here. 192.168.68.76. It's just going to be a bit different, but most likely it's the same. After you've typed that in, hit next, click on OK, and now you will see this appearing. Click on it and you will see Windows 10 SMB, the folder we just created. Now you named it perhaps DVR TV Mate or something else. Click on it and hit select. This will be our new DVR location. That being said, I've also created a backup folder. So if you want to create a backup, if you have multiple devices, you can actually just restore the playlist. You don't need to do everything manual. Go into general, click on backup data, click on the SMB and I have SMB Xeno and here I have a backup TV mate folder and I can click on save. It's now going to create a backup for us. And this most likely takes a few minutes, so you have to wait patiently. So the backup file is successfully done. Now, if you want to restore data on a different device, just hit restore data and select from local backup, select the SMB, go to the folder you just saved the backup. I think it's this one. And here you have all the backups and with dates and times. That's how easy it is. So if you have found that this tutorial has been helpful for you, 
please don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. Also, drop a comment below if you have any feedback or questions for me. Thank you all for watching and don't forget, I'll see you in the next one.